Hey guys, Roberto here, and today I'm reviewing the Power Rangers movie, Morphin Power Red Ranger and Pink Ranger. Now guys, if you guys don't know what these figures are, they're basically gimmick figures. And what gimmick figures are, is they're basically uh, action figures that they release in the Power Rangers toy line. And these gimmick figures usually have some sort of feature, or they have like an add-on. Uh, they've been doing this since uh, as early as Megaforce. I remember in Megaforce when I collected back uh, back then in 2013, they would release these figures that, like of the, the main male rangers. Just the males, and you they had like this action feature in the back where it was basically like an action figure. Let me bring in the Ninja Steward Ranger figure, or whatever. And it was an action figure, and you you would press like the back, and it had like this thumb thing sticking out, and you would like move the figure on like this, and it was really really cool. I didn't get those, but I do have the Super Mega Force ones, which are basically the same figure. You you can do the same thing. It was just Super Mega Force versions, and I do have those, but they're somewhere in storage. And then for Dino Charge, they released these figures where you would like uh, spin the top of like the waist of the figure and then they would spin the other way around. And yeah, and that was really cool. As for Ninja Steel, the newest Power Rangers season out which of this year is they had these they have these add-on features that you have like a, they come with like a armor or whatever. This is the Ninja uh, Master Mode armor. And you basically connect it to the back and then uh, you, I guess you can just move their hands around and they make a, uh, you basically move their waist and, they, and their hands move around and stuff. But the actual feature is uh, you actually would put the armor on their arm or whatever. And uh, let me stick it in there. And yeah, you move it around. You can have the armor move around or whatever. Uh, the armor does fall off easily, so that's what I don't like. But yeah, but gimmick figures are basically figures that just do crazy stuff that regular action figures do. Usually regular action figures just move around because they have articulation and you have to move around and stuff. So they don't really do much. But yeah, but gimmick figures just have lights, sounds, or they have add-ons, etc. And yeah, and I'm a huge fan of these figures. I love them. I love the fact that they are very different from a normal action figure. The only thing that sucks about them though is that they sometimes don't have as much paint as a regular action figure, or they don't have as much articulation. That's the case with these guys. They don't have as much articulation as a regular uh, movie figure. But yeah, guys, let's stop the rambling real quick and let's take a look at the figures, and then I'll tell you guys my thoughts later on in the video. All right, guys. So let's take a look at the packaging first before we take a look at the figures. As usual with doing the reviews. And the packaging for these figures is that uh, it's open packaging, so uh, you can try it out in the stores if you don't. If you're not sure if you want to buy it, let me just move my camera a little bit up. And the open packaging looks really, really cool. However, uh, once again, uh, I uh, I don't like the open packaging because the figures are just out like this with like a little band on the side, so they don't you can't grab them and just steal them. But yeah, but. Uh, what I don't like about open packaging is that little kids can pass by the store or they can pass by the toys and they can just knock the toy down and it can fall. And sadly, I had my very first case of not looking at the figure for buying it. And look, you guys see right here, like the Red Ranger has like a scratch on him. And I think somebody dropped him or something like that. So rip Red Ranger's helmet or whatever. It looks, it still, it still looks cool. I can still play with him. Just, you know, it kind of sucks that his helmet is a little bit chipped or whatever. All right, guys, so here's a closer look at it. And here's the Power Rangers movie logo. So Bond's Power Rangers with a really cool lightning bolt. Uh, warning choking hazard on the side on the right side. It says advertisement or whatever. I don't know I mean, I guess that means that you're advertising the toy bandai logo ages four and up so kids or four and up can you uh, play with this? Uh, you can try the toy in store since it's open packaging you press the belt and it makes the light thing uh, Power Up the morphing grid and that's what it says right here. So it, it is confirmed to be morphing grid. That's really cool uh, Morphin power red ranger. Yeah, that's his name uh, down here on the side it says requires 3 LR41 batteries, but it does come with batteries so that's something really cool that Band of America does so they release their toys with batteries instead of making uh, Japan where they make you get the batteries. Power Rangers logo on the side, and then yeah Bandai logo, I just went up. Uh, same thing on the side, just this time there's a Red Ranger instead. And yeah, the back, uh, the back is very simple, it just tells you all the other figures in the rest of the line. And it's the same information, you can power up the morphing grid or whatever, Power Rangers logo. Huge picture of the figure in the back and then the rest of the figures in the wave and as I told you guys there are there is a blue ranger in this I didn't get him because I again not the full team so I don't really need him uh, additional figures coming soon so I guess they're making other feature figures and that'll be Rita I guess this looks like a putty and I don't know what this is that looks like another ranger so that's probably the black ranger or whatever and yeah and then down here is some random information about the company uh, the packaging for pink is the same thing, just uh, everywhere where there's a Red Ranger, it's replaced with pink this time, except the, this side because this is promotional. But yeah, but if, if if you guys look at the Red Ranger packaging, there's a Pink Ranger here instead on this time. And in the back is just a huge picture of the Pink Ranger this time, and yeah. Alright guys, so here are the figures out of the packaging. And like I said before, uh, with gimmick figures, they usually lose uh, paint and articulation. So yeah, so it's something to think about before you buy these the guys, they're going to look very, very, a little bit different. Not very, very different, but a little bit different from the regular uh, action figure 
that you buy for seven or nine dollars. And the gimmick figures, like I said before, they, their point is just to have the gimmick, and that's it. If you want a regular action figure, you either get the legacy version or the five inch version. And yeah, but uh, yeah, so here it is. Let's take a look at the Red Ranger first. And uh, the articulation that he has is is like uh, is like getting a vinyl figure from Japan. You, have, you can move the head a little bit. You can move the head uh, all the way around because of the back. It's like an armor that's sticking out. You can move the arms. You can move the this part right here. And pretty much that's it. You can't move the legs at all. They just stand like this. And I mean, uh, they're, they're, the point is the gimmick. And yeah. So uh, here he is compared one more time to the Red Ranger, if you guys were wondering. And some paint apps have been taken away. This guy's already not detailed enough. Imagine this guy. He just looks very, very weird in the back. And yeah. And uh, if you guys want to look at the morphing grade on this one, it's clear because of the whole gimmick where the light goes through. And then this guy's just painted blue. And yeah, so let's put them both to the side. This guy's already lighted up. And uh, next up is the pink ranger. And let me just yeah, let me put these guys to the side. All right, and next up is the pink ranger. And uh, same articulation. You can just move the head around this entire time because there's no armor in the back stopping her from that. So that's really cool. Same armor articulation, nothing there. You can't move the legs either. And yeah. And the Pink Ranger looks a lot cool. Uh, I really like having female figures. Uh, they usually, uh, in Power Rangers Island, they really don't focus on the females a lot. So when we get a lot of female merchandise, it's really, really interesting. And I like how the movie's really releasing a lot of stuff for the girls. And here she is compared to the 5-inch figure version. And like I said before, uh, a few paint apps missing again. And yeah, and she does the same feature. You can press right here, light it up. This one is blue. And yeah. And yeah, so uh, those, those, that was them compared to the figures. Now, if you guys are wondering what they look like in the dark, let's uh, turn off the lights real quick. So, uh, alright guys, so all the lights are off except my closet light. Cause it's too, I can't have it be too dark in my room, but this is how the light works in the dark. And let me tell you guys something, these lights are really, really shiny. For action figures, this is crazy. And I actually have the Time Force 5 inch figures from 2001. This was the spring figures. And here they are compared to the 2001 figures. And the Time Force figures don't make that much light, but these guys shine like a lot. And yeah, guys, so my final thoughts on these figures is that they're they're straight to the point. And this is what I like about gimmick figures that they have one uh, a thing to do and they do it, and they do it fantastically. Now, gimmick figures are more of a thing to buy after you bought like action figures and you want more. Uh, action figures are to pose around and stuff, and you know they have a little bit of. Uh, Pain apps, they're they're you know they're they're the best representation unless you want the legacy versions. But these gimmick figures are more of a thing for little kids who just kind of enjoy having figures that light up in the dark. Now, as for collectors, uh, you if you're a completist or if you really want everything related to Power Rangers or the Power Rangers movie, then yeah. But uh, for a regular collector, this is figure. These figures are more just to have fun with. Uh, like for me, I don't really like. They can't really articulate. They have they have no articulation at all in the legs. You can just stand them around like this. I just, uh, I like them. I'm not, like, I'm the, I'm the type of person that I'm a collector, I'm a completist, and I, I really don't care. As long as it looks cool and I can at least have a little bit of fun with it, I'm fine with it. I and so, guys, that was my review of the Power Rangers movie, Morphin Power Red Ranger and Pink Ranger. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and this is Ritter from Ranger Mania, signing out.